Thank you for viewing this Any Excuse for a Chemistry Experiment video on elements, mixtures and compounds aimed at teachers used by anyone. I'm Scott Munro. In this video, I will demonstrate the reaction between iron and sulphur. This is a brilliant class practical to develop the students' observation skills. It will fit into your scheme of work at Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 to describe elements, mixtures and compounds. It can also be used as an introduction to ionic bonding or energy changes. As a starter exercise, I would ask my students to list some physical properties of substances. Terms like state of matter, density, colour, texture, electrical conductivity should be mentioned. Here is a suggested technician's list for this experiment. A mixing container, mine's labelled iron plus sulphur mix, iron powder, sometimes this might be called pin dust, sulphur powder, mineral wool, test tube, a test tube holder, two spatulas to avoid contamination, one 100ml beakers. I'm presuming you have Bunsen burners and heat proof mats in your lab. Testing the physical properties, I'd ask the students to add one spatula, a small spatula of iron powder to a beaker of water and record their observations. Then add a similar amount of sulphur powder and record their observations once again. Wrap a bar magnet in cling film and try to manipulate the iron and sulphur inside your beaker. The students should record their observations. We will strongly heat up the iron and sulphur next. I'd get the students to write down a prediction. What would they expect to happen during the reaction? What would they expect the physical properties to be? Prepare a mixture containing iron powder and sulphur powder in the ratio 7 parts iron to 4 parts sulphur by mass. Either you should do this or you, for your class or ask your technician to prepare it beforehand. Place a heap spatula full of the mixture into your test tube. Using some mineral wool, fit it into the mouth of the tube. This is to prevent any sulphur vapour escaping. Heat the mixture strongly with a blue flame until you see a chemical reaction start. Remove the test tube from the heat. You should observe the mixture continue to glow as the iron and sulphur react. I would ask my students to complete a write-up of this experiment underneath their prediction. They would draw the experiment, write down their observations and link it to their prediction, finally adding some safety information. As you can see, the iron sulphide moved with the magnet. This would be a perfect opportunity to introduce the idea of percentage yield and some of the reasons why we don't get 100% yield in chemical reactions. The total cost for chemical consumables is about 30p. I hope you found this video useful. Please click the thumbs up button if you liked it and add a comment. Subscribe to Any Excuse for a Chemistry Experiment. Thank you to everyone who has already subscribed. Lots more videos to come through the academic year. Thank you and goodbye.